By day and by night, people who live along this road say there's no let up from lorries. Sue Johnson, whose house is just yards from the road, says sleep is sometimes impossible. Well, it's absolutely diabolical. Um, it's bad enough in the day, but at night time, it's, it's even worse. One can't get to sleep at all. And particularly in the summertime, you can't have your windows open because of the noise and the pollution. And sometimes I end up having to go and sleep in the, in the back bedroom because it's slightly quieter there. A residents' campaign group wants the council to put a weight restriction on the road. Sleep deprivation is something which the government won't allow for terrorist suspects. They won't allow it for people living at airports. Airplanes don't fly by night. Uh, and yet we get it 24-7 on Latteridge Road, um, except for Christmas Day, which we all look forward to. The B4059 Latteridge Road near Yate in South Gloucestershire is used round the clock by lorries from local distribution depots. Acton Court, a Grade 1 listed Tudor mansion built for Henry VIII, is also on the road and there are fears that heavy traffic could be damaging it. Well, it's a very fragile building and this is the original Tudor gateway, it's three metres from this really, really busy road. And um, there's tremendous vibration, but it's not just that, it's that it's, the road narrows here. So it's very possible that we could have collision and that could be the most damaging to the monument. It's actually a scheduled monument and Grade 1 listed. Another problem is that the road is too narrow for lorries to pass each other in some places. We get um, clogging up, vehicles clog up, um, and they back up. Sometimes we're unable to get out of our gateway because of um, lorries and vehicles clogging up the, the roadway. South Gloucestershire Council says it's monitoring vehicle numbers on the road and in addition is implementing a number of measures including a speed limit to be introduced in the spring and additional curbing. The question from residents like Sue is, will it be enough to ensure they get a good night's sleep? Ken Goodwin in South Gloucestershire for the West Country Tonight.